हेलो एवरीवन दिस साइड डॉक्टर भूपेंद्र मान चौरसिया फ्रॉम इंडियन फॉरेन मेडिकल स्टूडेंट एमसीआई गुरुकुल ट्रस्ट एंड नेक्स्ट एमसीआई गुरुकुल इंडियाज नंबर वन एफ एम जी एंड एन इंस्टीट्यूट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अ बिग कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल द एफ एम जी स्टूडेंट्स हु क्रैक द एफ एम जी एग्जाम एंड अ बिग रिलीफ एंड बिग कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू देयर फैमिली एज वेल फ्रॉम लास्ट टू डेज वी आर गेटिंग सो मच क्वेरीज दैट सर नाउ वी हैव डन विद द एग्जामिनेशन वट इज नेक्स्ट बिकॉज मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर नॉट अवेयर दैट आफ्टर क्लियरिंग द एफ एम जी एग्जाम वट इज द नेक्स्ट प्रोसीजर टू गेट द परमानेंट रजिस्ट्रेशन एंड द प्रोविजनल रजिस्ट्रेशन सो गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द प्रोसेस इज गोइंग लाइक दैट फॉर अप्लाइंग फॉर बोथ द रजिस्ट्रेशन यू नीड अ नेशनल बोर्ड ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन पासिंग सर्टिफिकेट सो वेरी सोन माइट बी विद इन अ वीक और टेन डेज यू विल गेट अ मेल फ्रॉम नेशनल बोर्ड ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन एंड दे विल इन्फॉर्म यू दैट हाउ दे आर गोइंग टू गिव यूर पासिंग सर्टिफिकेट नॉर्मली बिफोर कोविड दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग द पासिंग सर्टिफिकेट फिजिकली दे विल कॉल यू टू डेली एंड यू नीड टू लाइक जनरेट यूर आधार कार्ड एंड पासपोर्ट एंड यू विल गेट यूर पासिंग सर्टिफिकेट बट एज बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड फ्रॉम लास्ट टू सेशन दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग यूर पासिंग सर्टिफिकेट इन अ वर्चुअल मोड लाइक दे आर मेलिंग यू एंड दे आर सेंडिंग दैट ऑन यूर रजिस्टर्ड ईमेल आई डी विथ नेशनल बोर्ड ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन सो द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सर्टिफिकेट विच इज नीडेड इज नेशनल बोर्ड ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन पासिंग सर्टिफिकेट नाउ we are starting and we are dividing this thing in two different part first of all for those students who already completed their internship you guys need to apply for the permanent one and for those student whose internship is not yet completed you need to apply for the provisional registration so first of all let me start that how you can apply for permanent registration in any respected medical council i am taking a example of delhi medical council and i am giving all the important documents which are needed to apply for permanent registration the first document which is very much important is your passing certificate i already told you how you get it the second one is eligibility certificate except 2013 batch all others batch students should have their eligibility certificate third important document is your 10th standard uh, 10th mark sheet fourth is your 11th mark sheet fifth is your 12th mark sheet after that the sixth important document is your degree seventh is your transcript transcript means your mark sheet of your mbbs or md physician degree the eighth important document is your passport uh, copy all the immigration pages and all like all the photo copies of your passport and ninth document is the affidavit and that affidavit is basically a affidavit which you need to produce and you have to do the notary of that affidavit and you have to tell them that what you are doing after your degree for example if you are preparing for fmg from last 6 months you need to make an affidavit that i am so and so and i was preparing for fmg exam that's why i have delayed for 6 months for applying for the uh, permanent registration okay so all this document should be properly scanned and it can be scanned in a proper way with the same resolution they are asking okay sometimes some document should be scanned in a horizontal manner and some document should be scanned in a vertical manner so please read uh, that very carefully when you go in delhi medical council website there is one portal of online registration so please go on that uh, click on that online registration and later on there are three four option one is provisional registration for indian student second is permanent registration for indian student and third is mbbs and md physician registration so when you click it there is a uh, option available provisional and permanent yeah and for those who uh, who are applying for permanent the 10th important document is your internship completion certificate okay after this 10th certificate will upload it successfully you will uh, before uploading this you need to generate a email id with password and there will be a separate uh, applicant uh, like uh, data will be there same like nb and later on you will upload all the documents and after the successful completion of your payment and the fees of for provisional and permanent in dmc currently is 8000 rupees so after you will upload all the documents there is a generation uh, you uh, there is, uh, you will generate a acknowledgement certificate okay that acknowledgement certificate is very important because when you are going for physical verification you need to take a copy of that acknowledgement certificate also 
you will get a uh, appointment by delhi medical council that on particular day you need to visit them and then you have to take at least three copies of all this 10 document in a photo straight manner with self attestation of all the document and one set of all original document they will verify your document and then later on this process is done from your side now the later on process will come and start when they are going to verify your document mainly they are going to verify your four document first is your eligibility certificate if you are coming and you have applied for the eligibility except 2013 batch all the batches 14 15 16 you should have a eligibility certificate so they will gonna uh, they will gonna see that your university is approved by who and it is is approved by nmc or not so the verification will be done from national medical commission second they will verify your nbe passing certificate that is a very simple procedure it will done might be within a 7 days third that is very important that is they gonna verify your degree that your degree is genuine so the degree verification is done from medical council to the indian embassy of that country for example if you have completed your degree from china they are gonna verify your degree either from shanghai beijing or guangzhou the nearest province of your university then the indian embassy will send the document to your university and after verification of your document from the university the verification from the university will send back again to the embassy and later on the embassy will send back it to the state council before the covid all this procedure is a physical procedure hard copy required to send and then they will verification will come by hard copy but now as it is a covid situation all this verification process are going through email only so might be it is a bit faster okay and the fourth and very important because many student will miss in that it is your 12th standard verification of your board you are from cbsc board or icsc board or from punjab board or from mp board you need to produce a dd and you will get uh, like a list of uh, of how much amount dd and what name dd you have to produce and that dd will will be submitted to your board not to dmc remember it okay so after all this successful procedure done you will get your permanent registration might be within 2 to 3 months okay this is a procedure for permanent registration guys and it is looking very uh, much complicated but it is not that much complicated because except your passing certificate you have all the document with you if you want to apply for uh, like uh, for pr in delhi better you will see all the required formalities today only so that you can prepare all your documents and once the nb certificate will come you can apply for it after getting the permanent registration you can apply for your gr ship you can apply in any of the government hospital or in private hospital and you can work as a gr even if you are not planning to work in this covid situation at least get your permanent registration on time because that pr is very much important to appear in the uh, nit pg exam or any xt exam this is the procedure for a permanent registration for those who already have done their internship now i am moving for those student who haven't completed their internship for you guys you have to apply for the provisional registration all the documents will be same passing certificate eligibility certificate 10th 11th 12th your degree your uh, transcript and uh, affidavit and passport copy as you haven't done your internship completion certificate it is not mandatory and it is not required okay so you have to upload a delhi medical council provisional fees is also same it is 8000 rupees you need to upload all the documents same like uh, one applying for pr is doing it and then you will get a acknowledgement certificate and then they will call you for the physical verification of all the document you need to take a attested copy of uh, of around 3 copy of all the document and also take your original documents because they will verify your original document uh, and all the other procedure the verification of eligibility certificate verification of your degree verification of your nb passing certificate and verification of your uh, 12th standard document is same like pr okay after all this procedure 
might be a, a provisional certificate time will be around one uh, and a half month to two and a half month okay and after getting the provisional certificate you have to uh, visit uh, like nearest medical college or hospital for example if you want to do your internship in delhi it is free of cost but there are some uh, like limitations of your 12th standard marks sorry uh, sorry uh, mci marks for example if you want to apply for internship in aims or safdarjan there is a criteria of some 160 or 170 marks in fmg examination I am not understanding is it exactly. Please verify it once again with the original source. After getting the PR, uh, the provisional certificate, you can go for an interview. Might be suddenly you will not get a chance to start your internship. Sometime they will uh, like call you for the interview and then you can just go for the interview and you can start your internship. After you complete your internship, you will get a uh, internship completion certificate and later on you can just follow the same procedure. So procedure of provisional and permanent is same and you need to follow both the procedures. So remember it guys. Uh, I think this video is very useful for all of you. Later on, if you have any confusion, my WhatsApp number is available to you 8750-473973 and nearest sir number is 8878762767. Thank you very much all of you. God bless you. Bye-bye.